a, a major bre security breach for the United States, just the fact that the balloon came into the airspace no. and flew over the country for so many days. No, look, <laughs> the total amount of uh, intelligence gathering that's going on by every country around the world is overwhelming. And the idea that a balloon could traverse, uh, break American airspace is, uh, anyway. And the idea that a balloon could traverse, uh, break American airspace is, uh, anyway, anyway. We are screwed. Yes, welcome back. U.S. military leaders on Sunday said they were in the dark about the exact nature and purpose of airborne object shot down over the United States and Canada since Friday. Unlike a balloon shot down off the coast of South Carolina, February 4th, described by officials as spy aircraft, it's unclear how the most recent object stay alive and move along. General Clean, commander of North American Airspace Defense Command and the U.S. Northern Command said at a media briefing Sunday, I'm not going to categorize them as balloons. He said, we are calling them object for a reason. And thanks for doing this. This is for General Van Herc. Uh, because you still haven't been able to tell us what these things are that we are shooting out of the sky, uh, that raises the question, um, have you ruled out aliens or extraterrestrials? And if so, why? Because that is what everyone is asking us right now. And thanks for the question, Helene. I'll let the intel community and the uh, counterintelligence community figure that out. I haven't ruled out anything uh, at this point. We continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America uh, with an attempt to identify it. Thanks. A defense official added that there was no indications of aliens or extraterrestrial activities with their recent takedowns. Earlier, when asked about the possibilities, Van Heck had declined to rule it out. I will let the intel committee and the counterintelligence committee figure that out, he said. Fighter jets were scrambled, but initially nothing was found. But then on Sunday, the object, whatever it was, reappeared and was eventually shot down over Lake Huron near the Canadian border. These are objects. Uh, I am uh, not able to categorize how they stay aloft. It could be a gaseous uh, type of uh, balloon inside a structure, or it could be some type of a propulsion system. It's been a busy few days for the Canadian and US Air Forces, with two other mysterious objects being shot down over Alaska and the Yukon Territory. The hope is, once you find what's left of them, they won't be mysterious for much longer. There's still uh, much to know about it, that's why the analysis of uh, this object is going to be very important. Um, but you can know that this is something that uh, NORAD and Canada and the United States are taking extremely seriously. He was reporting where these objects came from is currently a mystery. That's led to speculation. <laughs> they may not be from Earth. Yes, the government and media are pressing the anxiety button over and over on their UFO narrative. They are using it to prime the public for government actions to do something. Once you understand this playbook, you will see it over and over. This is something I don't want to see on this clip. The, the government really has caught itself in a web here by basically playing down, along with a lot of people in the media, quite frankly, the idea that uh, some UFOs are, you know, truly unknown. And to your point, Saga, that we still don't have debris recovery officially uh, for these most recent incidents, I think beggars belief based on how the military operates. You know, I fundamentally mm. that I don't think is true. I think they just don't know, at least in a couple of these cases, what they shot down. Um, and now they've opened, you know, the basket of worms by recalibrating the radar systems and their intercepts. So as before, they could say that, you know, some of the more unusual UFOs, let's say, to be generous, are 
you know, sensor aberrations, things that, you know, it's the wind, the radar um, is misaligned, et cetera. It's too small to be a concern. We can just ignore it. Now, because of their changes, because it's political, because of the balloon, they're, they're running up and intercepting all this stuff that's probably been there for a very long time, and they don't know quite how to deal with it. And I think the, the secondary point that's really interesting is the media spin now is, well, there's no evidence it's extraterrestrial. Well, obviously. I mean, what, what, what are they expecting there, that there's going to be some communication between these drones and something you know, in outer space in a right. foreign language. What they're not saying, though, is there's evidence here of unconventional technology and capability. The closest we've got to that, which is the most compelling statement, I think, is the NORAD commanders saying, we don't know how it's staying aloft and propulsion, which really roots back to the more extraordinary UFOs anyway. Unconventional yes. technology, quite frankly, means uh, it ain't us and it probably ain't China and Russia. On this article from the Daily Mail, China is preparing to shoot down unidentified objects spotted flying over a port according to report. The object has been spotted near the port city of Quinburg and an employee of the Marine Development Authority of the City General District said authorities are getting ready to take it down. The employee had not been told what the object is, but they say the fisherman in the area had been warned to be careful. A report about the mysterious object have been made in the Chinese government mouthpiece, the Global Times, in social media posts on Weibo. It comes after the U.S. and Canada down several high-attitude objects so far this month. Going down on this article, the United States government said one of the balloons shot down off the coast of South Carolina had contained spine equipment. Beijing fired back and said the balloon, which flew over the U.S. for three days, had been weather equipment. A Montana congressman said on Saturday night that he had been told an identified object was spotted over his district, forcing the temporary closure of airspace. Fighter jets were scrambled and airspace above Hover, a town of 10,000 people 13 miles south of the Canadian border was shot at 7.50 p.m. before being reopened about 15 minutes later. At an event, a Lincoln Reagan dinner in Columbus, Montana right now, Rose Sander to Fox News. And DOD calls me as I have been sitting here and started giving me briefing to tell me what was going on. I clarified with them, and this is actually the food balloon. The food balloon. You can imagine. China is there scrambling.